Hi there, it's Mr. Clark. Welcome to Lesson 3.4.2, where we will continue our study of non-chord tones with the double neighbor or cambiata figure. So, in 2.5.4, we learned about neighbor tones, where you start on a chord tone, you go to a neighbor, you move by step, and then you return to the same chord tone. Double neighbor, as you might imagine, is a related concept. You start from a chord tone, you go visit one neighbor, you go visit the other neighbor, and then you come back to your original chord tone. You could do that in reverse, too. Go down by a step, as long as you return to the original chord tone. So here's another example, just written out this time. We're in ooh, D minor now. Or the reverse, starting by going down. Oh, gotta get the chord. Oh. There we go. Um, in order to be a proper double neighbor figure, first and last note must be the same chord tone, and the two inner notes must be non-chord tones. So here are some incorrect examples. So let's see. Example A. Um, so first and last note are both chord tones, but they're not the same chord tone, so that can't be a double neighbor figure. That's not going to work. Here we have a four chord. How do I? Okay. There we go. So the problem here is that one is not a neighbor to flicks, because that's more than a step. So that's not a neighbor. And our last example, we have a 5-7 chord. Start on five. Ooh, that was fun. 5-4 flicks 5. And that's not going to work because 4 is not actually a non-chord tone. That's a chord tone. That's part of your 5-7 chord. So it can't be part of a non-chord tone figure. Here, flicks would be a specific type of non-chord tone, because um, it's the only non-chord tone in the measure, actually, and it's a type that we will look at soon. Um, only other thing to say is when you're abbrevi abbreviating a double neighbor, DN, and then just again, cambiata is another word for the same thing. I tend to use double neighbor more frequently, but if you ever see cambiata, that's what it means. See you next time.